Yesterday, flour mills of Nigeria held their AGM, at which shareholders approved the dividend, re-elected the directors, and also approved the proposed rights issue. Walifa Murewa is standing by in our Lagos studios for more. Thank you, Lorato. Joining me in the studio is Vlasis Miyakuris, uh, Group Treasurer at Flower Mills, to give us some insight into that rights issue, which was uh, approved by shareholders yesterday. Thanks a lot, Vlasis, for joining us on the show today. First of all, Thank give you for us. Having a... me. All right, it's good to have you. First of all, can you just give us a sense of um, why you're raising money right now, and maybe we'll get some clarity as to some of the offer terms as well. Well, the short answer, I guess, is uh, growth, growth, and growth, because as you know, we are a fast-growing group and we are uh, long time ago we have backed in the, into a very ambitious uh, expansion program which encompasses uh, expanding our food business encompasses uh, increasing our agro allied uh, business yeah. cement yeah. so as you can imagine all this uh, expansion and growth requires uh, more capital. Fa capital and funding yeah all right but what ex where exactly are you putting the funds that you're raising right now. We know that you raised some money last year through a bond issue. You raised about $230 million. And, but very quickly, you're raising some more money. In fact, some might suggest that perhaps you're growing too fast. Why are you, where are you putting money now? Well, actually, actually, I think we're growing too slow. I mean, if we take into account uh, the huge potential of this country and how uh, the entire market is moving. So I think we are just making the right moves. Uh, last year we raised 37.5 billion naira, but uh, as you may recall, uh, out of this uh, amount, like uh, 20 billion was used to refinance existing uh, debt. So, in reality, the, the net addition was uh, 17. Uh, it was less than uh, 17 billion naira, mm. and as you know, we have started uh, quite a few projects which are uh, uh, of large scale and high potential. I believe uh, the most ambitious project is the sugar refinery. Mm. That's uh, a project that uh, will uh, probably exceed $200 million. It's moving very well. Uh, it's coming online next year. We are putting a lot of, uh, of hope. It will be a major contributor to, uh, to EBITDA and profitability of this group. Mm. So that was one of the, uh, of the reasons we uh, raised the bond. And in addition to this, uh, we are expanding our food business, which includes uh, a new pasta factory. So this will be approximately a, a $60 million project. Mm. We have certain uh, new initiatives in mind, again in the food space. So probably uh, we will very soon be in a position to announce major uh, initiatives and the launch of new consumer lines mm. and of course we need uh, we continue growing the cement business which is uh, absolutely exciting and very lucrative and we want to expand and consolidate our position and last but not least is our agro allied uh, program which uh, holds a huge potential and you know a very large promise for the long-term value of this group all right. Let's just put the spotlight on the investment into sugar because we already have Dangote Sugar leading the way in the industry. And in fact, recently we've seen that their business has been under some pressure with where sugar prices have been internationally. So my question, why are you making that investment now? What's the attraction to the sugar business for you? Well, we, we have done a very thorough, uh, uh, we conducted a very thorough feasibility study. Uh, the way we are reading the market is that the market is growing at a fantastic pace. Uh, all the right drivers are there. We, we believe this market can comfortably grow by approximately 20% a year. Nigeria remains a net importer of sugar. So we believe it's a, it's a very good market. There is potential for further growth, and uh, we are convinced that we can very soon become one of the leaders in this market. Many of the, of the investments you're making now could be described as backward integration, where you're trying to um, provide more raw materials for the, the end business. Give us a sense of some of those projects and how much exactly you're putting into those initiatives. Well, actually, we're doing both. We are, we are moving up the value chain by expanding our retail component of our food business, mm. by launching more pasta, more noodles, uh, probably uh, breakfast cereals, uh, snacks, all this kind of stuff. And as you said, we're also moving uh, 
backwards towards the uh, agro-allied uh, sector. And we, uh, we are committed to supporting the government's initiative for developing the agricultural sector. We have earmarked approximately uh, $50 million to start with. We will proceed cautiously. But the focus will be in uh, sugarcane, uh, rice, all these crops that uh, you know, I mean, uh, Nigeria can very well uh, grow and develop. Right, you've got the food business, you've got the agro-allied businesses, and you've got some other support businesses. What, what will you classify as your cash cow or cash cow businesses right now? Well, we, we tend to believe uh, all businesses are very profitable. It's no brainer that uh, the closer you go to consumer, the margins are getting better. But overall, uh, each and every business of ours is, uh, is a very profitable and successful business, and it will remain so. Right. Now, we know that um, the, the rights issue is still subject to any SEC approval, but we've read that you, you should be issuing at 62 naira per share, which is about a 20% discount to the current market price. What are your thoughts uh, and expectations from this offer? But we are we are very optimistic. We are one of the blue chips of uh, Nigerian stock exchange. We will be very pleased to uh, we, we we were trying to accommodate massive participation. As you may know, we we are having approximately sixty five thousand shareholders. We will be absolutely delighted to have them all Investors. participating. So this uh, discount we offer. Uh, aims exactly to, you know, to, to, to accommodate uh, a broad participation in this uh, rights offering. All right, we wish you the very best in this offer. I've been speaking to Vlasis Liakouris, who is the group treasurer at Flower Mills, giving us his thoughts and insights into the rights issue just announced yesterday.